There. Go. We're looking at system change, transformation. Looking at trying to make uh, learning more relevant for kids. And of course, at the end of the day, we want them to be ready for, for a workforce of, of the 21st century. So right now we are in Apprenticeship and Workplace MEC Math 9, which is a project-based approach to mathematics education for students who struggle with the more traditional classroom setting. Like my learning, I like to do it ha like work hands-on. So we take projects that have a First Nations basis and the students get to work through the mathematics and then build them. So it would translate really nicely into a more holistic cultural conceptualization of what's going on in our world and gives them the basic hands-on skills to be successful in a trade using measurements, um, coming up with formulas, and the basic apprenticeship and workplace math program that they will go through will be built off of the principles that we cover here. It's helpful for the future, so if I want to like build a house, I can have all the math skills for that. So we had to put trusses in it, proud of the, it. how it turned out. I was digging it. Are you having fun in math class? I won't tell anybody. You can, I can admit it. Notice. Yes? Yes. Mmm, going bobbin for starfish. So, uh, this is eCampus Live. So what this class is, this is a flipped class. So the instruction is online. And when they come to class, we do project-based learning. So in Google Docs, you guys are looking at the form. I wanted them to get into the makerspace, which is where they, they, they're learning, but they're doing. Well, we love it because this is such a tangible experience. It's different from a normal biology class. Everything's pretty much based on technology. The lectures are online, so we can watch them whenever we want. And if we need help, Mr. Bleeker is always there for us. That's the top of the medicine dropper. Oh. Yeah. And then that just connects to these. These are barbecue larvates. We have this natural aversion to bugs. They were studying arthropoda, and one of the things, you not only study the body systems and, and sort of the ecology, but then you want to say, why do they matter? What can the bugs do for the world? Can we embrace this? And uh, that makes a big difference, because you think about why it matters, and now you're thinking a lot more critically, a lot more globally. I tried the crickets. They kind of taste like sunflower seeds, I'd say. They're not that bad. We're an Aboriginal choice school, so we try to, to incorporate culture in every way we can. This group is flint napping. They're making arrowheads. It's a cultural exercise. We know our kids have to graduate like everybody else, so we push the academics in the morning, the reading, the writing, the math, and then the afternoon we try to go more hands-on, project-based, uh, land-based learning. I want to learn about the stars and all the constellations. I sort of want to be a scientist. A pilot or a games maker, and if you want to learn about the stars, then just talk to my dad about that. I remember in high school and college and university, a lot of people, even my own children, right? They don't proudly own up to being Aboriginal. So for them to come in here and say, hey, I'm from Lake Babine, I am of the Frog Clan, this is my culture, I am proud. You aim down the shaft, and you throw. Basically what we have are 300 of our intermediate students in grades 4 through 7 in an explorations program which is run over 10 weeks where they get to select what interests them. The Explorations program is framed around the whole Maker Ed movement, so it encourages kids to use, to tinker, to experiment, and to create. We make these cardboard things, and it's in a thousand years, what would Mars be? Yes. We are building a soapbox for cars. Day. This, uh, the wiring that we're doing is a part of the uh, yeah. steering yeah. system. Yeah. I like it because it's basically something to do besides from school, even though I love school. It's not like this. You're not sitting in school doing... <laughs> we're learning like teamwork and communication skills. And how to build a soapbox car. And how to build a soapbox car, yeah. 
this is quite a nice change from from the normal type of class. The kids, you get to uh, experience the kids a little bit more, interact with them in a different way. There's lots of benefits for the kids. They're learning how to work together. They're having to communicate with each other, split tasks, all the kind of things that they would do as an adult in a job. Our group here, we have, um, it's called Transformations, and the kids are experimenting and creating and trying out different things. So a lot of teachers are bringing forward a lot of their skills and things that they are passionate about. I'm super proud of this group. Be able to learn how to play an instrument, how to read music, how to play in a group together is, uh, is such a huge accomplishment. In that bright land to which I go. So we partner a tremendous amount in our district with uh, community partners. We're very fortunate in this region to have uh, uh, partners, large and small, that, that assist us with the work we do. The education is one component and the industry and the jobs out there are together. They have to be together early on or it doesn't work. That's what this is about. And really, for the city's perspective, this is an opportunity to uh, work collectively towards the MyPG social development goal of safe communities um, with partners who are also committed and interested in that same goal. Prince George is very fortunate in the way that we're able to develop partnerships. We have relationships with folks. People are willing to work together. They know that that's for the best of our community. And so we're able to make these exciting projects happen that benefit all of us that individually we couldn't accomplish. I know it seems a little cliche to say it, it, it takes a village to raise a child, but in, in today's world, um, we all need to work together to be able to um, help provide the, the most enriching and the, and the most relevant of educational experiences. Absolutely wonderful to come in here every day and see them really become expressive with mathematics, to see them actually excited to be in here, to see them engaged and working, um, and to be able to know that I've had at least some small part of that, at least in building this community, is, is the best part of my day. The environment is changing, uh, the world is changing, we don't know what careers are out there right now for the future, so if we teach our kids to take pride in, in the earth, the environment, uh, the natural resources, then maybe they will go that way, they could develop their own careers by the time they graduate to take care of Mother Earth.